We work directly with business leaders to help them understand what are the risks that they're facing as an organization within their cybersecurity posture. Are they addressing those risks? Are they managing those risks? And are they making decisions based on specific risk profile that they're comfortable with? What we are able to do through a cybersecurity readiness assessment is to inform organizations, not only from a technology standpoint, but from a process standpoint, from a people standpoint, from a compliance standpoint. What's really important about the assessment is that it will measure a moment in time. Where are you today? And then it'll give you a plan as to where you will be tomorrow. Because cybersecurity is not a one and done type of activity. It is something that is practiced on a daily basis. And it is something that is ever evolving. It's the proverbial cat and mouse game between the good guys and the bad guys. And we are helping organizations not only protect themselves, but also prepare themselves. What's unique about SCNH's service as it relates to cybersecurity assessment is that we bring a collaborative approach across service lines. We were finding that we were much more comprehensive as a team. And so we created this offering so that we can provide the best possible service to the, to, to the client. Risk management has a focus on process control and policy and procedure and our tech advisory practice brings a additional level of expertise around technology and bringing those together offers a unique opportunity for organizations to get a full picture of how cybersecurity risks impact their organization. It's important to make sure that your technology aligns with your process and vice versa. And that's one of the things that SCNH really focuses on is ensuring that an organization really looks at cybersecurity from all angles. We are technology and process and service agnostic. That means we're a truly independent voice. And that's what our clients are looking for, is someone that they can be their advocate, someone that can be their partner, someone that can be the other end of that first phone call they make when they have a need, which means that not only to have a variety of capabilities, but also the relationships that if we don't do something, we can recommend and, and, and partner with other organizations and service companies to be able to fulfill that client. 